Hello and welcome to Pursuit of Perfect System. Just a quick update, seriously hot in here. Now the purpose of the video is to look at the benefits or the changes or the differences to the sound, if there is any, for the Furotech NCF booster product, which I've had in the system now for a good couple of weeks. And special guest who's coming tomorrow means they've got to come out of the system because there's gonna be a lot of changes going on with the cables and it's just impossible to do it really with the boosters because it's just too awkward and things will get broken, damaged, and it'll just take too long. So the boosters are all gonna come out of the system to allow me to create an AB demonstration video for you. Now I'm gonna do more of these in the future, but I just wanna give people some idea of the effects of the NCF boosters. So just a quick explanation of what we've got actually in the system. We've got eight NCF booster signals, which are the new products in the range which are the ones you can see here and the ones down there, which look kind of like typical kind of speaker uh, speaker cable risers or whatever you might call them, or elevators and stuff like that. But they're far from typical, they're far from normal. They're actually made from a, a special material, NCF, which is a nano crystal formula. And if you want to know more about NCF, I'd suggest going and watching this video up here. And I would suggest going to watch that one anyway, because I go into detail about the product, what NCF is, what makes it unique. So there's eight of those in the system, and then we've got three of their normal boosters, which is kind of the, the dark, kind of like it looks like a clamp type system. And they're designed really to clamp over power cables or, I, or power plugs or IEC connectors. And that is what we've got. We've got one on the IEC input to our JCAT 200 watt linear power supply, which powers our cord QTIS DAC. Makes sense, doesn't it, to put you know an upgrade or a product like that on the DAC. And then we've got one powering our one on the IEC powering our preamplifier and one on the IEC plugging into our power amplifier. So again, it makes sense to use them kind of in the most important links of the chain. Now, personally, after hearing them, I'd have, I'd have them everywhere. But, you know, I'm here to give people an idea of the benefit and the proof. So what I can't do is do a quick AB demonstration because it's going to take me a reasonable amount of time to take them out. So what I'm going to do now is, as you can see, they're in the system. So I'm gonna record some songs, make notes, the microphones all stay still, make notes of volumes, make notes of recorder volumes like I always do. Then it will take me maybe 40 minutes maybe to take them all out safely so I don't break anything, don't damage anything. And then obviously I'll turn everything back on, record the exactly same songs again at the exact same volume, do the AB demonstration at the end of the video, which is coming shortly, and uh, you can hear the difference for yourself. So, hope you enjoy. And I'll come back and talk after. Well, the smart money's on Harlow And the moon is in the street The shadow boys are breaking all the laws Well, the smart money's on Harlow And the moon is in the street The shadow boys are breaking all the laws Well, the smart money's on Harlow And the moon is in the street The shadow boys are breaking all the laws Well, the smart money's on Harlow And the moon is in the street The shadow boys are breaking all the laws It is time Time that you love, and it's time, time, time. It is time, time that you love, and it's time. Drive into the hood of me. Some 
Sometimes I feel I've got you Run away, I've got you Get away from the pain you drive into the hurt of me Sometimes I feel I've got you Run away, I've got you Get away from the pain you drive into the hurt of me Sometimes I feel I've got you Run away, I've got you Get away from the pain you drive into the hurt of me Well, 
then, what did you think about that? Another interesting AB demonstration and comparison, really. And if you think about it, uh, obviously the differences you're going to hear on those recordings, think about how much bigger they need to be in real life in order for me to be able to record them in the first place and then kind of come back for, to you through YouTube. And actually, I, I suppose probably those demonstrations might not be as dramatic as some of the other ones that I've done, but there's a genuine reason for that. The, the test actually was a little bit biased in favour of there being no boosters in the system because even though there's no boosters in the system, there's still actually some NCF products in the system because if you remember back, if you're a regular to the channel, you'll know that about two weeks ago, I installed two FI50 NCF IEC connectors in two key critical positions on two power cables in critical positions in this system. So even though when there was no NCF boosters in the sig in the system, there were still NCF products in there. And that definitely, definitely made a difference. So really what we're hearing there is the difference of two NCF products on power compared to five NCF products on power. That's really what, what we're comparing there in that AB demonstration. But even that in itself is a really interesting comparison. Because I found initially when I did my testing with the NCF products, that the, the normal booster, that two of them had a really big impact. One had a bit of impact, but two had a really big impact. So technically, that test was <laughs> skewed in favor of no boosters, and yet you can still hear the, cl the clarity improvement, the high frequency improvement of, of having the NCF boosters in the system. And I suppose that's really what I want to talk to you about now. And I'll, I'll track through what I experienced when I started adding them because I got very, very familiar with the sound of the system we was using, obviously, Telerium Q cabling, the Black Diamond speaker cables, just like what we just used in that AB demonstration. And I was sitting and listening to the system. And I remember just adding just one obviously NCF product, just to try it out, just installed it, rested it on there and installed it, sat back and listened. And was like, oh wow, that's that's made a nice improvement. And it made an improvement to just clarity and focus, removing a bit of fuzz from the sound. So leading edges of notes were just clearer and cleaner. And when you clear up leading edges of notes, and there's lots of ways to do that, upgrading systems, better speakers uh, and other things, when you get clearer leading edges and notes and you remove a bit of fuzz, that the overall whole sound stage just becomes clearer. And that's a very obvious improvement when you sit and listen to it. And it's kind of an addictive improvement. So straight away after adding one, within a half an hour, I had another one out of the box and I added two of these. And I sat and listened to the system with two of these NCF boosters in it for three hours, maybe four hours. And I was just really loving the sound. It's like that extra bit of clarity comes through because really when we're in hi-fi and we're trying to get better sound we can get I suppose more bass we can possibly get a more lively presentation maybe we can get a bigger scale of sound but what what is the rest of it what are, are else are we trying to improve really we're trying to improve clarity and focus and maybe making the sound more natural now it's making the sound more natural is you know a huge challenge but I think clarity and focus are extremely important and clar what clarity and focus does it, it sharpens everything up creates a more open sound stage and everything in that sound stage is more well defined obviously we can get improved layering improved width and stuff as well but everything needs to have you know to be tight and focused and that is definitely what these ncf boosters do they definitely help to remove kind of edginess and fuzz from the sound and make it more clean and focused now i think a trade-off for adding those is the more focused and tight things sound maybe the less exciting that they the, the system might sound now i didn't really get that with this system i personally was thinking right i wish i had another box full of these i would have put these on literally every other power cable in the you know power power connection in the system i genuinely would it's like every time i added one a little bit a little bit sharper a little bit more focused and put potentially a little bit more rich sounding as well but i wasn't sure on that one i, I experienced it it's like oh you know is that my imagination is that my imagination is it not but they would be the things that i would say i noticed straight away with these you can definitely hear that in in the recordings in the ab demonstration with the ncf boosters the sound flows better it feels less congested and i think elements of the sound stage are more well defined but then we step over to the booster signals which obviously is the new product for furatech in the range so with those i followed furatech advice and used them to get our speaker cables off the floor and actually off the rack and straight away there's a definite difference there as well now 
different <laughs> these affect the sound in a different way these seem to put pizzazz sparkle and energy high frequency energy back into the system and what was interesting with how i had things set up here is that really helped with this system's balance completely helped it in fact because up until that point i would have said the system sounds a little dark it sounds like it's very heavy in places and you know and dark and was probably listen, missing a little bit of sparkle and missing a little bit of kind of sharpness because sharpness gives you snappiness as well. So adding three boosters either side to get the speaker cables off the floor definitely helped with that. So that left two NCF booster signals and I kind of toyed with different places and I tried them out in, in different places around the system and to be honest it made a difference everywhere but because I only had two of them it made me think right how can I get maximum benefit from the two that I've got. So I used one on the DAC. And what I did, I kind of laid it up where all the connections come in and out of the DAC. And I was able to put all of the cables that come in and out of the DAC across one booster signal. To me, that made kind of, I suppose, economical sense, really, to get maximum benefit from one of them that I could. And the second one, actually, strangely, I actually took it off. Took it off. I actually put it on a power one. And just put it upside down and lowered it down on top of some cables actually that was coming out of the amplifier higher up. So if you imagine I extended these up here with these extra legs, I then took the plate for this and just lowered it down so it was in contact actually with balanced with balanced analog cables. I can't do it now, sod's law, but there we go. So just I just lowered it down and it was in contact with that. And so that is that is how I used them. And I think you can hear quite clearly in the recordings, we've definitely got more upper upper frequency and high frequency energy in that sound. Now, I think for some people, they might think, oh no, it sounds better before. It doesn't. It definitely doesn't. What you've got before it is what potentially seems like a warmer sound, but it's it's not. It's, it's more fuzzy. It's kind of more, it feels more compressed and it feels more flat. Once you bring back the high frequency energy, as I say, everything's snappier, everything's sharper. What that gives you is a more crisp and clear again sound stage. What I was able to do is use these to find a better balance, find a clearer and cleaner version of the same thing and kind of tune the system really to my preference. Now, obviously I could have taken some of the signals out. I would have loved to have put more of the boosters in because in this system, these seem to make a huge difference, as I say, to clarity and focus and potentially a little bit of richness. And it seemed like I would need quite a few of these to balance the extra energy and kind of life and pizzazz that the signals were having. So actually when I added the two FI50s NCF products, that actually made a really big difference again to the overall system balance. And at that point with the system, uh, the Telerium Q cabling and stuff like that, I actually found I was really, really happy with the sound of this system. It was really impressive. It was just adding all these NCF boosters to the system and in key areas that really just elevated it that just that bit more and got me that little bit of extra clarity a little bit of extra focus just really kind of elevates it to that next level and normally to get that next level of performance out of a hi-fi system what would you have to do you might have to buy new speakers you might have to buy a new pre-amplifier you might have to buy a new DAC you might have to buy a new power amplifier and yet all I had to do was adding a few of these Furotech NCF booster products and that was enough to get me there. So really what I was getting is an improved and better, clearer, cleaner version of a sound that I really loved rather than having to go and try and find a, a, maybe a new balance or a new system or adding another really expensive product like a preamplifier or something like that. So yeah, I've been really impressed with these NCF booster products and, and they are addictive. As I say, you add one and oh, I like that, I want another one. Oh, I like that, I want another one. So. I'm gonna do some some videos and I wanna demonstrate kind of how you might use these in a few scenarios that I've come across and, and ways here, just maybe help people think outside the box because what's brilliant is what Furetech have done is because they sell the parts individually, you can be a little bit creative. Uh, and as I said to your box clever, like what I've done here in like a stack system, you might be able to get more benefit out of your investment and stuff. So that will be the next video. And I don't want to talk too much because I'm going to you know, conclude this whole series with a nice kind of review for these products. But as it stands, I've been using these with really 
premium quality cabling. I've been using them obviously with Furotech products, their IEC connections, but I've been using them with XLO cables. I've been using them with Telerium Q cables. These are really premium, well-designed cables, and I'm still able to eke out even more quality performance from them just by adding these. So yeah, as it stands, I'm ultra impressed with these, ultra, ultra impressed. And I recently took these out because I had a special guest coming in straight away, the system just didn't sound as good. So yeah, that is where we are with these at the moment. So in the next video, we're gonna talk about how we might install them, different ways and means and methods of hopefully getting the best out of these products. These are very interesting products, they're very different. I think a video showing different ways of using them, I think would be really helpful. So hope you've enjoyed this one. As always, leave a comment down below. Go and visit our website because there's been loads of new content going there recently. And I'll be seeing you soon. Take care.